Welcome back to the shop. I'm Jeff from Today's Craftsman, joined today by Chris from New Doors. Yeah, how you guys doing? New Doors slash United Finishes. Yeah, slash, slash space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> slash maybe something More new. More to come. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're having another conversation today, or I guess it's, a, it's becoming a series at this point, the build versus buy. So today we're talking about, about cabinet doors. And I know Chris knows this subject very well, yeah. the, the idea of buying them versus building them. So maybe you could start off and, and give your opinion and then maybe you know, we'll go back and forth and talk about the times where it's appropriate to build them. Yeah, so <clears throat> we used to build five piece doors too in our old shop similar to this. And the biggest thing that kept coming down to us was, well, multiple reasons, but every single time we built a set of cabinets or a built in, whatever it was, there was always one style or rail that somewhere <laughs> got messed up. Maybe the router hit it the wrong way, whatever it is. I didn't mill enough material because I didn't want to waste all, you know, however many board feet of that. So now I'm starting at square one again, trying to set up the shaper, set up the routers. Uh, and now I'm five days behind because of one style or rail. And that's kind of yep. what really made me start, you know, thinking about this plus when we're doing it you know after the glue up it expands contracts it warps it twists and now you're back to you know square one again with having to remake stuff so that's been a huge issue for us um you know we design a lot of stuff that has i mean we we try to avoid it but people want tall doors yeah so you use a maple a tall door it turns into a banana and you know, so you have one door that might be blowing out, the one next to it's blowing in mm -hmm. and you only have so much adjustment in your hinges and um, you know, you end up hinge bound because you're trying to adjust the belly out of the door. Yeah, that's, that's always been a constant thing for us. And people say, you know, with the material we use, we're using solid HDF, the highest grade American made board. You're telling me this is an MDF. What, what is this product actually? Yeah. So this is, the highest grade HDF that you can uh, that you can use to make a door that's even denser than HDF. I don't want to give away the exact uh, product secrets, <laughs> but uh, it's all American source product <clears throat> and it's much denser than MDF. So it can with you can screw into it. We have a video of us trying to Dan trying to rip it out. Yeah. Um, it finishes incredibly well. It's much more stable. The moisture resistance is actually higher than anything else you could kind of go with and also the retention on it. So maple and things like that even have a higher moisture content than what this is able to absorb, which is huge. People argue all day, ah, oh, wood, you know, it doesn't move as much. There's no way. Uh, this has been tested. It is at a lower count than most wood, so. I mean, you could tell just by like looking at this panel and, and uh, have John get a tight shot, how smooth this is. You know, MDF, if you expose the center of MDF like this, it's like, just complete fuzz. Oh yeah, dude, and, and the sides, man. I used to fight, you know, before we discovered this product, I finished MDF a million times, and everyone's trying to uh, either water down glue, or I see, you know, you take uh, two compound, codes. yeah, and you're putting it on there, spack on there, sanding it off, and even if you do that, it's so soft, MDF. So then you, minute something hits it, boom. This has the same uh, higher rating, I think, actually, and I don't want to be quoted completely, but uh, to wood. So the finish on it, you, you know, you see it here, it, it, it's like glass. It looks like it was edge banded. Yeah. Um, and I get asked that a lot. Oh, what do you got to do to it? Nothing. Just take the prime door, sand it and paint it. Uh, I mean, you can hear it. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't sound like MDF. <laughs> no, and this a, is, it's weighty. Um, you know, a piece of MDF like this weighs nothing. Yeah. Especially the ultralight stuff. But this is, I mean, super dense. Yeah, dude, customers, uh, that's a, a thing that homeowners or any kind of customer they seem to love with this is now you pick up a door, so many of them are like this, you know, five piece, quarter inch panel, they, nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, this has twice the weight. So as a customer, you're just feeling like solid. Like yeah. this feels, uh, it is durable. Um, and way, you know, again, compared to that, so. Hinges seem to feel better too on a heavier door, like a light door like this. Oh yeah, you, know, you you swing the door and you know it barely wants to move because uh, there's no no momentum behind it. Yeah, that gives you that soft close. Yeah, it feels like it's it's strong. So and it finishes incredibly well. So as you can yeah, see. Yeah. So speaking of finish, here we have a raw door. So this is how the door comes off of the. I guess um, you want to talk about how the doors are made because we yeah. didn't, even, didn't even mention that. <clears throat> 
Yeah, so they're, they're all routed on uh, CNC routers, so everything also is cut to, I think, the ten thousandths of an inch. Uh, they're incredibly accurate, and they're all routed at a one-piece material, so we don't do any stain-grade doors. We have edge-banded veneers, but any profile doors are all paint-grade doors, which is the trend anyway. Um, <clears throat> so you can get them unfinished like this. This is uh, one of our most popular ways with contractors or shops is the prime version. Mm -hmm. So we use a water-based primer, uh, high solids. You can sand this in top coat right off the bat. Uh, you don't have to reprime it. Uh, there's plenty here to sand and you can see how smooth it is, you know, just in that state. Yeah, this looks like a finished door. Yeah, and uh, from there you can top coat it, which is what we have here. Uh, we use Enduro Pro Series, but you can top coat with any water-based coating, uh, one or two K and just sand it and bring it to this, which is typically what you guys are doing too. I think you're yep. mostly getting prime doors. So yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of how we get to this process. And, and you guys are spraying these through a flat line system. So, <clears throat> you know, this door hasn't been scuffed or anything. I mean, you could see how, <laughs> how nice this door comes out yeah. of the finishing system. Um, yeah, you know, I certainly in. couldn't spray it and have it look like that. <laughs> no, we could, uh, we could do like 20 doors a minute or so on, on uh, primer. And yeah, it's consistent. That's the, the best part is that, yeah, everything's going through a flat line. You know you're getting, you know, around eight wet mills that we're putting onto it every single time. Uh, and we're using the same board. So we love consistency. That's always been the biggest thing that we've lacked in other companies that we yeah. did is variation. This eliminates it, so. So we talked about uh, these doors here. Would you say this is the most popular style? Yeah, shaker, I think like two, two and a quarter inch shaker is the most popular uh, style that we have. But obviously, like you have there, we have, I think, 15 different styles and everything from raised panel to chamfer, beaded, stepped. You can change the rails on everything, too. Yep. And there's no upcharge on that, which, again, we came at this from like the cabinet maker perspective because that's who we were uh, before this business grew to what it is. So different options. Yeah, I'm, I'm drawing a kitchen right now and she wants the step shaker. So it's like two and a quarter with step, with a step yep. um, slab, you know, top drawers. Um, one thing we didn't talk about was when it's appropriate to actually build doors. So, you know, Rob and I, we've said this, you know, many times since we moved in here, um, we've, we've had a different sort of train of thought where now we're open to buying doors and, and for paint grade doors, we're, we're hundred percent convinced that these solid doors are the way to go. Um, like, you know, we've built doors like this out of maple or poplar and painted them. And before they even get delivered, you know, you have black lines here. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants everything painted white and white is the <laughs> most unforgiving color um, that you could ever paint something. So we're, we're hundred percent convinced that this is the way to go for painted. Um, we've even been buying our stain grade doors. I just ordered some red oak doors. I was saying, um, but when is it a good time to build doors? So if, if we get a job, it's, and it's always about budget. So if the budget's there, we enjoy building doors, we will build them. <laughs> um, if the job needs to be grain matched, yeah. I'm not going to trust, you know, our, our five piece <laughs> door provider to grain match all these things, grain match the face frames. Um, can it be done? Yes, I'm sure. I don't have the confidence in them to, to do that, so we do that ourselves. Um, but I'd say for the most part, um, if you're building cabinets, not furniture, we're not talking about furniture. If you're building cabinets, the way to go is definitely to, to buy the doors. Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty, it's pretty clear. Buying doors is, is a good choice, not the only choice, but it's, it's good in most situations. And I, I think that you guys should check out new doors. You know, we use these doors and uh, we've had a great experience, so. Thanks, yeah. And we ship nationwide. <laughs> yeah, and to Canada, right? And to Canada, yeah. And coming soon, so Yeah, yeah maybe, areas, maybe some other areas, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, so if you have any questions about new doors or anything else, anything you'd like to see, make sure you leave it down in the comments, and we'll see you on the next one. Cool, thanks, guys.